Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Boss Tweed by Old Nation Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And we are trying Boss Tweed. This Finally! Is, yes. Jessica found it. Thank you to Jessica. I always buy the beer if you're even if you're following us at all. Oops, I guess I should have. See, there you go. No hype said it today. Um, he had one of my um, uh, the uh, outside ale citra dank yeah, juice yeah. or dank juice, yeah. dirty dank, dank juice. Yeah. And he forgot to shake it up, and it was like clear. Hello, and you guys wonder why I roll things around. Yeah. And I told him, I said, yeah, I try and shake things up. Okay, you but gave yourself more again. I, you're going to get the rest. <laughs> Even the viewers notice that you give yourself more. All right. I'm so excited to have she this. She is snappy now for double IPAs. <laughs> Look at that those... chunky oh stuff. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that stuff? You'll, you'll be okay. <laughs> It's like it's the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a double IPA, uh, 9.3% ABV, 68 IBUs. Now I have to uh, say that I don't, I've never had anything from New Orthodox, right. I don't think, because I <gasps> haven't tried M43. Right. Uh, I do like how they do it. So the malts are Pills, Wheat, Oat, Vienna, Hops, Magnum, Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, Dry Hop, uh, Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, Azaka. Actually, I should have said from Old Nation instead yeah. of... Well, it's one. New Orthodox IPA series. Yeah, but I've not had yeah. any of them, I guess, is what my point was. Uh, package date is 12 6 17. So about a month old. Yep. Almost. Yeah. Uh, White head, from what I do have, all small bubbles. The head does look like it's staying around. Color is, what are you going to call that? Hazy orange. Hazy, darker orange. Because they use the word orange. hazy. It's, um, yours looks more like orange Double juice, IPA. but this is, yeah. mine is a different shade yeah, of yours orange. Yours is like puke. Um... ABV is on the can, so is the IBUs. So are the IBUs. So are the IBUs. Let's smell. Okay, smell. It smells exactly what a double IPA smells like to me, or an IPA, or anything that you would like. Citrusy, piney. Fruity. I, pine, pine and citrus. Fruitiness, Good. but the, the pine, or pine. Now she's got me going. The citrus to me does stick out the most. Like orange, lemon, peel is what I'm getting. Uh, I am getting some uh, fruitiness in there, like a mango fruit. I just think it smells like citrus and pine. And I'm with sorry. a little bit of pine. Not very much. Uh, no alcohol at all. I don't get an alcohol no, smell. Okay. Taste. Well, for having weirdo floaties and you're not being able to see through it, that sure is light. Yeah, it does come through light and smooth. Light to medium, not fully medium. Uh, I'm getting the fruit. Smooth, though. Yeah, the, well, it's going to be from the oats. See, I don't know these things. I'm just here to taste it, to smell it, and to taste it. You're the more technical one. Yeah, I do get some fruitiness, some like mango, maybe, I don't know. I don't taste pine now. Yeah, it, it, it's it's like a sweet mango, sweet pineapple in there, going back into some citrus, then gone. I do get a touch of alcohol on the end of it, and a tiny bit of bitterness. Yeah, but nothing that... Would steer me away from it. This no. is pretty good, even though I'm scared to drink all of it because of the it's shit at the bottom. Just yeast and crap. <laughs> That's you can say that because you don't have it on the bottom of yours. 
hey, whatever. It's, um, this is good. It's refreshingly light, smooth, a little bit yeah. citrusy. This is like this on is my good. lips, it's more citrus. This for me is an enjoyable beer, yeah. an enjoyable IPA because it's on the citrus scale. Is, yeah, is, there's a lot of citrus versus pine. So I like it. <clears throat> good. Mm -hmm. So I'm what? Excited that, I'm excited that I drank it, that I got to have it, <laughs> and that I actually liked it. Um, what would you give this one out of five? I really would, I would drink a whole one by myself. Yeah. I'd give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, yeah I was going to say a four and a half. I, I know they're not saying New England IPA. It tastes like, it drinks like a New England IPA. Okay. Um, to me, um, I would really think you wouldn't have that many dry hops and probably all the oats in a regular IPA. <clears throat> To make it hazy and you know how it is. So obviously I'm going, it is a New England IPA. Okay. And because of that, I wish the the fruit hops would come up more to make it like a little juicier. Okay. And so you're not getting all that citrus. Um, and see, that's what I like about it. Okay. So. And um, I... I I think they covered up the alcohol well, but not well enough because I still get a little bit of burn back mm -hmm. there. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I get a little bit of, of a bite. The I get the the little bit of when I drink these, I get like the goosebumps and a little bit of. Ugh. But Just is that the pine I, bitter? That's the what bitterness? I, yeah, that's okay. what I get. All of them across the board okay. when I drink any IPA at all, but this one. The um, gag factor is not so high, <laughs> um, but yeah, I like this because of the citrus. The citrus, I yeah. mean, citrus notes are gonna do it for me. So, yep. very excited <clears throat> that I tried it and I liked it. Yep, definitely one I think you should pick up and try if you can find it in your area. We'll try to find one um, for you, Rob. <laughs> how much? Do you know how much this was? Yeah, I can tell you. You read your little thing. I can tell you. <laughs> um. So there have been almost 10,000 ratings for an average of 4.47. Uh, 25 of my friends have rated this for an average of 4.62. So um, they are both in the range. We're right in the middle of both of them. Um, yeah, Jordan gave it a 4.5. Mike gave it a 5. Danielle gave it a 5. Kyle V gave it a five. He got an admire. Amy gave it a five. So there are a lot of fives. Um, I I I don't know if it's just because I drink so many of them, mm -hmm. but I still have like a little alcohol burn in the back. And of see, my I mouth. really don't. So I don't so know what that's from. Maybe it's just um, five dollars and seventy nine cents. I okay. paid for one. Yeah. I don't know if that's bad or not. To to me, I because don't. it's a double IPA, it's a 16 ounce can. This um, says right here, their description is a New England style double yeah. IPA. Well, right, but going by Untapped, yeah. they're not calling it a New England. I know, I'm just saying. And that. it they does not say phone. it on. It says double IPA on here. So, but. And you know what? I'm gonna be totally honest and say that. To taste a beer, I really, I'm not sure that there's a line I draw with how much <laughs> I will spend. Well, all right. Clearly, I spend a lot of beer, a lot of money on beer um, singles to try. Well, right. Sours, I spent, I mean, I I think the most I've spent was like 12 bucks for an odd side one. But it's what I like and I guess, Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where the line <clears throat> is. But well, it's... I guess for us, it's probably different for, you know, regular people. We're doing this. Sorry, our dogs are crying at each other because one has the bone and the other one doesn't. Stupid lab. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's it's different. I buy them to try them to tell everybody. It's a business for him. <clears throat> for me, it's a recreational yeah. hobby. 
But still, I'm the one that's forking over all the dough to buy them. I'm the one that's chasing that's down the beer. That's not true. I, okay, I... <laughs> she, she... I uh... <laughs> find most of the beer, and I buy most of the beer, um, because I want to try she them. She sees them before I do. Yes. yes. But that's, I mean, that's part of it. We're supposed to be a to team. Work. We're supposed to be a team here, and if we're a team, this is what we do. Yep. But my point is, 579, that didn't no. hinder me because I really wanted to try it, and then it was gone. I think, right. like, I had the last, I claimed the last one or whatever, um, but, you know, if it's a stout, would I, would I spend six or eight bucks? No, but if it's that Southern Tier Mint, I have to because it's for <laughs> Brad, but I didn't get the chocolate orange, Right. you know? And so that could have been the same price point. So yeah. this was good, though. Cool. I'm really sorry for those who <clears throat> haven't tried it. And I guess I need to try an M43 because everyone's all hyped up about yeah. that. Well, we can get that and do uh, another review. What Jessica really devices. thinks. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what's, what's important Jessica to think? the people. Yep. Cool. All right, great. Yeah, definitely pick it up. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.